Following the initiative and financial support of the European Commission, which began in 1993, September 1998 marked the period when 12 countries from Europe, Caucasus and Central Asia signed a multilateral agreement to build a joint venture for more economic prosperity of their people, constructing a remarkable transport corridor, Traseca. The countries developed an action plan to integrate their infrastructure networks for sound multimodal freight transport. In the neighborhood, under the Eastern Partnership, Traseca supports the integration of the transport networks of partner countries with the ones of the European Union. The European Commission has supported this strategy and action since its outset providing technical assistance and support to the countries and the permanent secretariat in Baku. Transport infrastructure along the Traseca corridor is behind European standards and poses several challenges to freight flow. There are safety and security issues along the route, several bottlenecks, problems of interoperability between networks and also some missing links for an efficient corridor. Custom and border crossing procedures and operations represent another challenge for the transporters. The countries are determined to respond to these challenges with the support of the EU Technical Assistance Program. Having selected the strategies for a transport corridor without barriers, the countries are suggesting measures with positive transnational and cross-border effects to be the incentives for dialogue with donors, investors and operators for funding and operation schemes. In a participatory approach, the infrastructure measures suggested by the countries are jointly evaluated and prioritized. The result is a priority projects pipeline of over 40 projects, 15 of which emerging from the Eastern Partnership Dialogue with support from all Traseca member countries. Priority projects were presented to the donor community and in October 2010, the first Traseca Investment Forum was launched in Brussels with the support of the European Commission and with an overwhelming response from the financial world. Over 20 top-ranking projects were presented to the donors and transport operator communities. The investment forum laid down the foundation for financial institutions and operators to understand the project's feasibility and their private-public partnership schemes, highlighting their bankability as well. Amongst them, three are remarkable examples of successful cases. Located along the Trans-Caucasus part of the Traseca Corridor, the Ilichovsk commercial seaport is the largest container terminal in Ukraine. Once completed, the new facilities will enable a competitive position to be maintained within the corridor from Varna to Poti Batumi. The investment cost is estimated at 185 million US dollars, whereby 11 have been funded with own port funds. Additionally, the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development announced a tender for cargo handling equipment in 2012. Along the E60 road, which is part of the international Traseca route linking the Black and Caspian Seas, the two-lane Tbilisi-Rustavi section is currently overloaded and needs to be widened to four lanes. After its inclusion in the priority projects list, the Ministry of Finance of Georgia allocated 50 million euros. The European Investment Bank, the World Bank and the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development are the financial institutions involved. In the Kyrgyz Republic, the issue of transit traffic is still urgent and negatively affects the movement of vehicles. Through the rehabilitation of over 200 kilometers, 
The investment aims at upgrading the Osh Batkan Isfana Road to Category 3. The European Union, the World Bank, and the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development are involved in financing Phase 1 of the investment with about 81 million US dollars. The work still financially uncovered will require a further investment estimated at 150 million US dollars under Phase 2. Preceded by a new round of participatory prioritization, in February 2012, the second Trasecker Investment Forum took place again in Brussels. Benefiting from the success of the first forum, more than 50 institutions attended the second event, where another set of priority projects was presented. Over 200 participants from financing institutions and the transport industry attended the project exhibition and explored the investment opportunities. Technical assistance projects funded by the European Union developed a set of tools and dedicated training sessions to enable a robust project feasibility within the Trasecca region. A traffic forecast model was developed and calibrated along the networks connecting Europe and China to predict freight flows until the year 2020. It has become a key tool for managers to select priority investments. Ad hoc investment manual and guidelines to pre-feasibility studies were also prepared to foster evaluation capability within all member countries. In parallel with investments, soft measures are attracting increasing attention. Soft measures show very high return on investment and high value for the industry and the users of the Trasecca corridor. To support border crossing procedures, a practical guide has been made available online. The future of Trasecca will highly benefit from all the achievements so far in terms of interoperability and development of transport networks.